What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Your Model Rise. Thank you for tuning to another reaction video. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing good. It's your boy Ari, and welcome back to Your Model Vibes. Um, today we're gonna be doing a reaction. I don't know why. I feel like I be repeating myself several times. I just don't remember why I be saying low key. I just be just going off the top of my head. I think I need to start writing this down and try to say, Hey, welcome back. You know, I don't know. I, don't know. I just trying to keep it original, one hundred over here. But today we're gonna to be doing a reaction video on how Michael Jordan, how Michael Jordan, spent two billion dollars. That's how much. That, that's how much. Damn. That's how much Michael Jordan is worth today. Two billion dollars. That's some money. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like when when LeBron retires, I feel like LeBron's gonna be worth more than that. You know. People might argue with me about it, but you gotta think about it. LeBron, Michael Jordan, don't get me wrong, Jordan dope, but LeBron is more brand, fr I don't know if he's more brand friendly, but he's really, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just saying, my opinion, my opinion, different day and age, different forms of marketing, different forms of promotion and all that, but hey, enough said, let's get to it, let's see how much money, that, well, let's see how Michael Jordan spent his money, the GOAT. You know what? I take it back. I don't care anybody say LeBron. LeBron is good to me. Stop that. Yeah. Michael Jordan might have been an NBA superstar, but did you know that less than 100 million of his 2.1 billion dollar fortune is from playing basketball, sponsorships with Nike, a majority stake in another high-profile basketball team, and his own private golf course have all. Did this man just say the shot of the one is the highest? Cut it up, bro. Cut it up. Helped make Michael Jordan the richest former athlete in the world. That's why this superstar is able to afford a $29 million custom compound in Chicago, an $80 million yacht, and over 40 different luxury vehicles. But that's Damn. just the basics of this basketball giant's lavish lifestyle. Here's how Michael Jordan makes and spends his billions. Michael Jordan is best known for his 14-year career with the Chicago Bulls. But even earning six championships with the Bulls wasn't enough to bring his NBA earnings over the 100 million mark. In total, wow. Jordan earned about $90 million over his NBA career. And wow. 63 million of that came from his final two seasons with the Bulls. So how That's exactly did Michael day. Jordan become a billionaire? Let's start with his sponsorships. Nike's Air Jordans are iconic. But Nike founder Phil Knight actually nabbed the NBA rookie for just $250. $50,000 a year back in 1984. Nike's Jordan brand alone now brings in roughly $3 billion in revenue each year. As of 2015, Jordan was profiting off the sponsorship by making around $100 million a year from Nike royalties alone. That makes up a pretty big chunk of the basketball giant's yearly earnings, which according to Forbes, have been roughly $145 million each year since 2015. But what really helped Michael Jordan skyrocket to billionaire status is is his move from on the court to behind the scenes. He owns the majority of the NBA's Charlotte Hornets, which he bought in 2010 for $175 million. By 2014, the team had officially made him a billionaire. They're estimated to be worth more than $1.5 billion, and he owns 97% of the equity. Michael Jordan is also a minority owner of an MLB team, the Miami Marlins, having been part of Derek Jeter's investment group. While Jeter owns 4%, Jordan owns less than 1%, but he doesn't need to own a second team to keep his fortune intact. Rounding out his yearly salary are sponsorship deals with companies like Gatorade, Upper Deck, and Hanes. He's also appeared in a Nike Fortnite collab, and he's been branching out into restaurants. He owns 1000 North in Jupiter, Florida, Michael Jordan's Steakhouse in Connecticut, Washington, and Chicago, and Michael Jordan's Restaurant in Chicago. And if all of that isn't enough, Jordan also owns a car dealership. That's right, it's a Nissan dealership in Durham, North Carolina. But the only thing more interesting than all the ways Michael makes his money is how he spends it. And there's no better example than his numerous luxury homes. Michael Jordan is a big fan of Florida. That's why he spent $12.8 million building his dream house Damn. in Jupiter back in 2012. One the day. house boasts 11 bedrooms, a state-of-the-art media room appropriate for cigars, which is one of Jordan's favorite pastimes, and, of course, an athletic wing with a full-size basketball court. The property is also surrounded with tall trees for privacy, and there's lots of rooms for guests and staff. But the best part of the private property is that it's located in the prestigious Bear Club, which is a super private 
private golf course for the rich and famous. His love of golf can be fed by just taking a quick stroll across his backyard. And he must really love golf because this mansion is the most expensive non-waterfront property in the whole area. But Michael Jordan can get his fill of waterfront views at some of his other homes, like this $2.8 million lake house near Charlotte, North Carolina. That's what he filmed. That's what he filmed The Last Dance. I remember that view. Under water on three sides. Plus, it has a pool. And in traditional Michael Jordan fashion, it's located on the Peninsula Golf Course. Pair that with the open concept, high ceilings, and sprawling staircases, and Michael's got himself a vacation home fit for a king. When it's time to change up views, Jordan can always trade water for mountains at his $7.5 million home in Park City, Utah. The home has been on the market for a year, but just check out these incredible views of the Wasatch Mountains that the NBA star used to enjoy on the regular. The 10,000 square foot property includes five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a gym, an infinity pool, and a home theater. There are also cascading waterfalls outside, and the property apparently has a golf room too since this one isn't located on a golf course. But if the golf room doesn't live up to expectations, there is a golf club and spa located nearby. But we have saved the most impressive home for last on our Michael Jordan house tour. This $29 million mega mansion is located in Chicago. This place can't be confused for anyone but Michael Jordan's. The 32,683 square foot home features nine bedrooms and 19 bathrooms with a 15 car garage and an NBA quality basketball court. It features an extensive patio and a unique infinity pool with a small island in the middle for lounging on sunny days. There's also a home cinema, an extensive wine cellar, and a lounge slash cigar room in the basement. Plus, one of the house's many living areas features a pair of unique doors. These are the original doors of the Chicago Playboy Mansion. Talk about a cool collector's item. Unfortunately, Michael Jordan is ready to split with the property, though that might be good news for someone in the market for a mansion at a discount. Eight years after first listing the home, the asking price is down to $14.9 million. It's estimated that Jordan has paid about $680,000 in property taxes while trying to sell the house, and he still pays his staff to keep it up and running. Jordan's still looking for a very particular client who loves his specific style of living. Let us know if you would jump at the chance to own this home in the comments oh, section below. Yeah. While house hunting, Michael might have some trouble finding one big enough for all of his cars. Even a 15-car garage isn't quite up to the job, since the basketball star's collection is made up of more than 40 vehicles. The very first cars that Michael Jordan bought after he received his reported $10 million signing bonus from the Chicago Bulls were an entire collection of seven Mercedes and Pontiacs for himself and his family. One of his favorites is an Aston Martin DB9 Volante with a retractable roof. The car can retail for as much as 150 k Another highlight is his Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren 722 edition, which goes for about $625,000 thanks to its high status with a lot of celebrity drivers. Michael Jordan's also got himself his own Ferrari 512TR. He bought the Tetra Rosa back in the 90s for a reported $212,000. One of Michael's oldest and coolest cars is the C4 Corvette. After being drafted by the Chicago Bulls, Jordan made a deal with a Chicago Chevrolet dealer to do a series of commercials. In return, he was gifted the C4 Corvette. That's about a $40,000 gift. Michael Jordan's love for cars might only be outmatched by his love for golf. He even decided to build a private golf course because he was reportedly annoyed by the pace of play at his previous country club. The course in Florida is called Grove 23. The clubhouse has a full view of the gorgeous course, which used to be a citrus grove. And the course can be played in many ways, fast and slow, so that Jordan doesn't have to worry about other golfers slowing him down ever again. Jordan even has a custom Carolina blue golf cart with the Jumpman logo. With the construction, land costs, and customization, it's estimated that the project will end up costing him between 15 and 20 million dollars. When he's not on the basketball court or the golf course, Michael Jordan likes to take luxury family vacations. Jordan customized his own $61.5 million private jet, complete with the Jumpman logo on the tail. 
When he's not in the air, Jordan and his family can kick back on their $80 million private Damn. yacht. Jordan reportedly pays about $840,000 a week when vacationing just to keep the ship operational. That's not the only huge vacation Damn. expense that Michael Jordan deals with on the regular. He reportedly never travels overseas without a security team, which sets him back $1,000 to $1,500 per hour. Jordan's Damn. got a pretty big addiction to high-quality timepieces. His watch collection is extensive and worth millions of dollars. Here's some of the highlights. He has an Erwerk UR202, a $145,000 piece from the high-end avant-garde independent watchmaker. It's decked out with sapphire crystals. He's also got a Ulysses Nardine Royal Blue Tourbillon. This $1.1 million watch features 48 white diamonds and 12 blue diamonds. Jordan's collection Ooh. also boasts a first edition A. Longa and Zuna Datagraph okay, with a platinum band and sapphires worth $90,700. And of course, we can't forget about his many Rolexes. One of his most expensive pieces from the famous watchmaker is the Rolex Daytona in platinum. Worth Damn. Seven I get a question. Why is Rolex so expensive? It's just, I don't know. Just somebody help me out, understand? It's just basic to me. I guess I must pick up my mouth from, from dribble, dribbling. But anyway, 80, I think what, what, 86, that's a lot of money. 25,000. If you didn't know by now that Michael Jordan loves to have fun with his money, then consider that half of his watches could have been bought just with his winnings from his gambling habit. Charles Barkley once told Dan Patrick, Jordan used to wager hundreds of thousands of dollars on a single hole of golf. And he also apparently wagered fans and friends about whether or not he could make tough baskets while shooting hoops. But even a mega rich NBA superstar isn't immune to some financial struggles. In addition to his Chicago compound that's on the market for 14 million less than he bought it for, Jordan also lost a whopping 168 million dollars after his divorce in 2006. He's also been known to turn down deals with companies that he doesn't like, even before he was super rich. He was offered a million dollar deal with something called Beanie Weenies back when he was only worth five million. But he turned it down because he just didn't like the name. But even a loss here and there isn't going to stop Michael Jordan from giving back to the community. He's made huge philanthropic contributions, including a recent $100 million donation to Black Lives Matter. In 2019, he pledged $7 million to open two medical clinics in Charlotte, North Carolina. And in 2018, he donated $2 million to Hurricane Florence relief efforts. He's also a frequent donor to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. And he puts his money behind his love for basketball by donating to sports and mentorship programs for young athletes. It's nice to know that That's even good. after a record-breaking career and $2 billion, Michael Jordan is still doing his part to make the world and the NBA a better place. Which yes, of Jordan's sir. luxury homes would you love to snatch up? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget none. to hit that like button and <laughs> subscribe to the Richard. None. I wouldn't want none of my money. Or my salary now? No. No. I can't. I would, right at the moment I am right now, I can't afford to keep one half of, half of the house. Not even half of the house. The living room up to date. You know what I mean? But one day though, hey, listen, remember this video, somebody screenshot this, save this, and send it to me when I become a millionaire, just like, a billion, just like that, man. But anyway, nevertheless, yeah, that's how Michael Jordan spent two billion dollars. Well, he spent two billion dollars, of course, but you know what I mean. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know, smash the like button, subscribe, share, man. You know, if you guys enjoyed the video, why am I keep on stuttering the video? But anyway, yeah, it's crazy. But hey, smash the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff once again. Before we go, remember, the world is yours, and I mean that. Peace.